out. Yes, that's it. Oh. <laughs> nice camping spot, eh? Do you like? Oh, this flew away. Hopefully it did not fly. Well, you see, I attached it to the bike. So it's, uh, so it doesn't go away, which uh, worked. First, I need to, I want to check my hairstyle in the mirrors. <laughs> because uh, after two nights sleeping outside, I guess, oh no, well, I look okay. A bit of cleaning. Mm. Yeah, wow. Oh, fantastic. My hairstyle is great. After two nights sleeping outside, I still look okay, I guess. <laughs> well, tell me if I look like a, a monster already. But, well, I love my, uh, my camping spot. Do you see that? Oh, someone left a water bottle. So do you see, I slept, well, it's all wet. It rained during the night. I slept near the, um, near the Tito's building. There is broken glass everywhere. Well, I, I chose my spot with, uh, to, to avoid broken glass, so there is no broken glass here. And you see the, the, the greatness of this camping spot. I have a parking. I have a, a garage for my, for my bike with perfect size. Uh, just great. And here I have the, the engine room of my ship, because I'm traveling with a ship, if you don't know, uh, with a sailing boat, yeah. Well, no, a, a motor vessel. Motor vessel. So that's the engine room. Is the <laughs> all the <laughs> all the tubes and all the pipes? Well, and here is the here is the the living room, the the yard. Sorry, the the small uh, inner yard for my uh, new house. Here is uh, I don't know what. Oh, oh. That's the guest room. Oh. That's the second guest room. Oh, and, and <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and here there is some broken glass. Oh, that was the... Uh, where you put the sofa and all that. And look at that. Uh, uh, uh. And that's the toilet. Oh yeah, actually. There is a shower. Well, I guess, yeah. The, the toilets are gone, but uh, it was the toilets. It was the, for the shower and the, and the toilets. So that's, um, uh, yesterday I gave you a, a tent tour. Today I give you a um, free accommodation tour. Free Yugoslavian accommodation tour. So let's go back to my bike. I've got the map. So let's check it out. So we are, so in two days I did from Ljubljana all the way to here in Croatia. And, um, and today we are going near Bihać in Bosnia, but still in Croatia around the border. So we are going there to visit uh, a place that is called Jeljava, uh, which is um, the biggest investment of uh, communist Yugoslavia, uh, of Tito's Yugoslavia, and which is an abandoned airport, which apparently seems to be nice. I don't know, we will see. So today, well, at least not today, because I'm gonna do it, it's about 100K from here, maybe a bit less, but um, I'm gonna do it in two days because I, I really need to recharge my batteries. I mean, in restaurants, I, I charge up two thirds, but then I can do like 40 kilometers and I need to charge again, so it's really annoying. So. So I'm gonna stay somewhere, recharge my batteries uh, properly, and um, and then the day after tomorrow we go to Jeljava. But it's gonna be in this video. So in this video we go to Jeljava, Tito's, uh, <laughs> well, and all the Yugoslavian abundant stuff.
And as you see, just in a few minutes, a cloud came. And that's the magic of Yugoslavia, you know, of, of Yugoslavian stuff. Look. The building is gone. <laughs> the, 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 the Tito's cultural house is gone. Ah, how is that possible? Well, that's the magic of, of communist Yugoslavia. Well, anyway, enough uh, talking nonsense. I'm going to pick up all my stuff. And let's go to Jeliava. Okay, guys. I'm ready to go. And in this abundant place, let's also try to avoid getting a flat tire by riding on broken glass. Okay, let's get a nice view, a last view over the Tito's building. Wow, bye. It looks it's it looks very good in the in the fog like that. It looks as eerie as it is. Oh, it's the first time I put my pants in a while. Ah. Rural Croatia. I'm still amazed of how different it is compared to Slovenia. Well, how less wealthy it is. Wow, there is a huge difference really. That's the tiny village of Johovo. Okay, so now I'm almost, <laughs> I have um, one third of battery left, 15 kilometers to go to Slun, where I'm gonna stay tonight, and I have a climb on the way. So basically now I'm running, I'm, I'm riding <laughs> without the battery, without the engine, because uh, I'm really afraid I can't make it with the, uh, I can't make it for the climb so because the problem is when it's too steep I mean without the battery I cannot I cannot ride the bike it's impossible to move forward it's too heavy so <laughs> well I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to get to Sloon and there, there are no there is there are no cities on the way either so I have nowhere to to recharge ah, I thought I thought I could, I was not sure this morning, I was not sure I had enough battery, but I thought, well, it's okay. I can just stop for lunch somewhere and recharge on the way. But what I didn't plan is that uh, the area I'm going through is very remote. And basically, there are no villages between. There are no villages on the way. So there is nowhere to recharge. So now I have to make it to Slug. And you know what? My planning was a real disaster today. Can't recharge on the way. And I also don't have food. Ah. What a stupid, what, how stupid I am. No electricity, no food. No food for lunch, just say I have a tiny salad and raisins, that's all. And almonds. Oh my god. What a disaster. I am almost up the hill. I have checked, I have two very small climbs after that. I think I should be able to make it. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be very close, but I should be able to make it. Okay, I'll have lunch, see you later. Ah, annoying dogs. They are still waiting for me behind there. Wow. Oh my god. 
That's a car cemetery. What the hell? All these villages. I mean, there is was one house where you it seemed the, the people live in it. But like all the other houses of this very small village are uh, destroyed. Apparently, you can't go inside uh, those destroyed houses. Well, I mean, it's it's not that you can't, but you should not go because often it was uh, it's abandoned houses by like probably let's say around here probably Serbians who fled uh, fled to Serbia and uh, yeah many people have mined their houses actually so it makes sense then it's dangerous to go visit those desert houses because you could just explode on the mine and I am in Sluny I don't know how you pronounce that I made it just perfect and now I'm going on the way to the apartment I booked for about uh, 30 dollars I got myself a room here well I guess it's around here Mariana and look at that, perfect only one bar left well let's leave the bike somewhere here it will do so guys I'm finally installed so that's my uh, roughly $30 room in Slun in the center of Croatia so that's what you get for $30, $30 in uh, rural Croatia but still there, there are uh, touristic attractions around I mean there are the pretty, pretty chill lakes so it's it's still a bit a little bit um, tourist price well a nice double bed I'm charging everything as you can see because I need to charge everything I have a wardrobe with blankets a fridge if I need to if I want to for some things okay, where are my keys what did I do with the keys that's the thing you talk to a camera and oh I put them behind yeah okay so let's go to have a look at, at the city because apparently oh let's switch off the light where where is the light where is the light? So you can see. Oh yeah, I need. To, I wanted to take that also. I did not show you. That's my new rain jacket, which I bought I quite a while ago. I think in, in Bergamo. And um, yeah, because the other one was too uh, too big, too not not comfortable to to wear. It was really com no. It was not nice. The other one. So <laughs> now I got a better one. Anyway. So that's it. Yeah, let's have a... No, the light. <laughs> Where's the light? Do, do you see the light? The hell? Oh, maybe... I don't know, maybe the light is outside. No? Yeah, the light was outside. <laughs> okay, so let's close. And that's the bathroom. So I have common bathroom shared with... Uh, I don't know who I guess because you have like one, two, two, three, that's number four, and that's number one. So I guess um, when you have two or three, probably like two two rooms with the same same bathroom, which is nice. Very clean. The shower is very clean also. No. Oh. Everything very nice. For 30 euros. Yeah, and you have to press if you want to have uh, hot water so it starts uh, heating. So let's go to have a look at the. at Sluinj! Sluin! Sluin! I don't know how you say. And here's my bike. And the tall and the <laughs> hey. hello. <laughs> Come on, it is it's going to steal my bike. Uh, 
That's an old style house. That's the thing of this city. I had no idea. I thought it was uh, nothing to do in the, nothing to see in this city. But uh, yeah, basically, a nice, uh, a nice court. and a nice small green waterfall. I guess that's it for Sluing.